huge tusks. At the moment he's just trying to decide whether he should run away or whether he can trust us. Not too worried. We just sit here nice and tight, maybe he goes back to feeding again. Also look at his bottom tusks as he's opening his mouth like that. You can see that lower set, obviously the most visual are the big tusks at the top, the main ones. But those lower ones are the real dangerous ones. Those are the ones that he, he uses to cut things like roots and things up. And if a root is stuck in the ground, he can easily cut through it with that. But as far as the defense mechanism goes, it's very important. Like I mentioned earlier, they can not all the time, obviously more often they can't, but they can sometimes injure a predator enough that it leaves them alone. They can even kill a leopard or a lion if they get a couple of good cuts or slashes into those tusks. I think this guy we can from now on call Wart. Hey Alex, what do you think? That's a good name for a warthog. Wart. Makulu wart. I'm just thinking of those warts. Look at that wart on the left hand side of his face. Our uh, right hand side. It really is easily the most developed wart I've ever seen on the pig. Let's get a bit closer again. You can see he's just relaxed with us a little bit. Down on his knees, he's wanting to dig up again. He's just aware of us driving. Let's just a little bit, little bit there. He's standing up looking at us. Let's stop there again. No. good condition as well. Very solid animals as well, just in terms of body weight. Difficult to guess his weight exactly, but he would probably be a good, uh, what do you think, Alex, 60, 70 kilograms? It's very solid. He would weigh the size or the weight of a, of a medium-sized man. And to put it into Moore's perspective, maybe he would weigh at least twice the weight of Karula, the female leopard. And he'd weigh about the same as a big male leopard around here, maybe Mafufunyan. That was nice. 